Hi guys, welcome to my channel Vinyl Beauty or welcome back. I'm Debbie if you don't know me and today's video I'm super excited for because I've got the Colourpop and Nightmare Before Christmas collection to show you. I've got both of my Colourpop orders in together even though I ordered them on different days. So I've also got the Tinkerbell collection as well but that'll be coming up in a future video. But I really wanted to play with the Nightmare Before Christmas collection today. And I didn't pick up all the collection, but I've got quite a lot of it. So in this video, I'm going to show you what I did pick up and I'm going to create an eye look and just play with some of the products, some of which I've never used that type of product before. So that's what this video is going to be. It's not going to be swatches or anything like that. There's a lot of reviews and swatch kind of videos out there. And I think if you were planning to pick this up, you probably would have done so when it first came out. So I don't think I'm going to persuade you either way. And that's not what this video is all about. It's just a try on and just... Yeah, just give you some inspiration of looks you can create if you did buy the, the product. So without further ado, let's jump straight into it. I'll show you what I've got and create a look with these products. Okay, guys, so I bought the eye bundle and then I bought one of the lipsticks. Kind of regretting my life decisions now and wish I'd bought more of the lipsticks and I'll we'll show you them and then you'll see why. But we'll start with the eye bundle. So in the eye bundle you got a Glitterly Obsessed and that's their glitter gel of course. It comes in this like really cool box. I don't know if it's going to focus. But yeah with skulls on it and glitter on the sides of it. And it's kind of a weird shape as well but, but yeah really interesting packaging. I'm going to keep all of the packaging from this. This is the Glitterly Obsessed packaging. It's plastic, uh, which when I show you the Jelly Mutt shadows, I also got there in a glass packaging. I would have preferred this to be glass as well. Don't know why it isn't, but, but yeah, I really love the, the Jack Skeleton picture on the top of it. And I've got my Nightmare Before Christmas top on, so you can't see it because I'm sitting too close to the camera, but I thought I'd let you know. <laughs> I'm a big fan of the movie. So... The Glitterly Obsessed, and it's got a little bit of a, a stopper in it to stop it drying out. That's the glitter. Really, really pretty silver and kind of lilac -y purple glitter. These are not eye safe though. I have seen people use them on their eyes, but I won't be doing that because I'm terrified of glitter. So if I do use them, I'll probably just put them sort of here or like on my outer corners, something along those lines. I know they're ideal for hair and body and whatever I don't think I would do that but I think I'll get some use out of them particularly over the festive season because they're in that gel they're going to be easier to apply you've kind of got the adhesive one in one whereas what puts me off of using a pressed glitter kind of on my cheeks at Christmas time for a bit of sparkle is it's very difficult to get it to stick so I think this will be quite useful at that sort of time of year but I'm not going to wear that today and then you've got two of their BFF liners, which are their liquid liners, and they're like a felt tip format. I prefer the brush tip like the NYX Epic Ink, but I'm still excited to try these out, particularly because there's a white one. So you've got a white and a black. You've got Scream Queen, which that's the packaging for that, which everything's just got so much detail to it. I'm going to keep all of the packaging. Really, really nice. And then that's the packaging of the actual product and as I say it's just a, a black liner that one so that's a Scream Queen and then I've got Pumpkin King as well which is the white one and that's the packaging for that one and as I say it's just a, a white felt tip there but I'm quite excited for that one because I haven't got a white liner like that I might be using that today then we've got the Trio of Terror. So this is the Jelly Mutt Shadow Trio. I'm so excited for this. I've never tried these and they just look so pretty. I've watched so many videos on this collection because I knew I was going to buy it and I just was excited for it. And this is what everyone seems to be excited for and I can see why that is. So even in like the bottom of the packaging, it's so detailed. This is the sort of thing that the makeup collector in me just loves when there's so much attention to detail and that the packaging is something you want to keep but you've got three shades there lock shock and barrel so this is lock this is the uh, the packaging for that one so I say these are glass component the plastic lid and that's lock it's purple 
and glittery and beautiful. Might use that one today, I'm not sure. And then the next one is Shock. That's the packaging for that one. And it's a pink and it's a very, very vivid pink. That Shock it is quite a shock. I think it'd be pretty on the eyes though. Really, really gorgeous. And then lastly, we've got Barrel. And that's the packaging for that one. And I think this is what I'm going to use today. This looks really duochrome and just beautiful. So I think that's the one we're going to use. And then the final thing that was in the eye bundle, of course, was the palette. So this is the palette. And oh my God, it's just so gorgeous. The packaging, like they killed it with the packaging. I know a lot of people didn't like the execution of the, the colour story, but the packaging you can't argue with because it's just so, so lovely. That's the back of it. It's very small though. The, the shadows are a lot smaller than I was kind of expecting. It's hard to see when you've seen it on people's videos, but definitely smaller than I was expecting it was going to be. But again, you've got so much detail, like my fingers in the way, but you've got like the picture there on the mirror and it feels heavy in quality. It's really, really lovely. And that's the shades. And it's a grungy colour story and that's why I love it. I wouldn't have expected something like this colour story from Colourpop. And from what I've heard, it's not based on the movie at all. It's based on a Disney ride. Um, oh, I can't remember what it is. Haunted Mansion, I think. And they turn it around to be in a Nightmare Before Christmas theme at Christmas. And it's based on the colours from that, is from what I hear. Because everyone's been saying there's no green for Oogie Boogie. And you would have expected Sandy Claws to be red. I definitely agree with that. That should have been red, I think, but I still love the colour story of it and I'm so excited to try it out. And then the final thing that I got was one of the lipsticks and I just got the Jack one and the packaging on these, they're like a little ornament that you can put on your tree. I wish I'd have got the other two just for a collector's point of view. I probably will pick them up if I pick up something else, which I'm planning to very soon. So something else from Colourpop I've got my eye on. But this is the packaging it's plastic and it's kind of see-through plastic it's not my favorite I have to say like the Savaya Nygaard ones are packaged so much more quality than this I think but they're still pretty but you've got detail snowflakes and skulls on the lipstick I don't know if you can see it on camera and it's a really nice grungy kind of red shade so yeah, I'm excited to, to use it. I didn't pick up the bright pink or the neutral because they're not really my kind of colours, but I would love to have the packaging in my collection, so it might have to happen. So that's everything I picked up. So I'm gonna scooch you in and we're gonna have a go playing with these products. Really excited to try the jelly matches and see how they apply. I wanna do like a faux cut crease, half cut crease with that. And yeah, just have a bit of a play with the palette. So I'm going to prime using the Sigma Eyeshadow Base in Persuade. I think today I'm not going to do anything too crazy. I'm not going to try and put every colour under the sun on my eyes like I kind of do quite often. So I'm going to keep it quite tame. Go with quite a grey kind of grungy look I think. All of my brushes that I normally blend out my eyeshadow primer with are all in the wash. So trying to do it with a flat eyeshadow brush and it's not working particularly well. Okay, so what do I want to do then? Well, my first thought is that I definitely want to use that shade. Uh, yeah, I think I'm probably going to go in with Dear Friend as like my transition-y shade. Probably going to deepen it up with Halloween Town, this one down here, and then I'm pretty much going to use the Jelly Mutt Shadow all over my lid. I think that's the plan. So I'm going to start with that Dear Friend shade and say so take it through my crease. I don't want to spoil the pan and uh, get rid of the snowflake, it's really pretty. Yeah, I'm just going to place that pretty much like pack that down first and then start to blend it out quite high with it so that I've got plenty of room to cut the crease as I say I'm only planning to do a half cut crease it's a pretty unique shade I think this 
very powdery. But of all these bright colours that are in the pan, this is the one that that my eyes went to the first. So I thought, all right, I'm going to use that one in the look. It's a pretty pigmented shade. It's really pretty, actually. So now I've got that colour done, I'm just going to blend it out with that meant to be shade. So I'm just going to take that around the edges just to help with the blend. Just going to take a pencil brush and run that dear friend shade, the first shade we used, onto my lava lash line and just connect up in this outer corner. And then using the brush that we had meant to be on, I'm just going to further blend that out. Nothing too crazy today. Okay, now I'm going to go in with Halloween Town very carefully and build up a little bit of definition in the outer V. So this is one of these sequin shadows that uh, max with glitter. But I honestly don't mind them too much. They blend nicely. You just never can see the glitter. But I'm glad to see a nice deep shade like this. Every time there's a nice deep shade in a palette, I feel like I need to use it. Getting a hell of a amount of fallout though. Okay, on to the jelly match shadow then. Kind of nervous, I don't know how to use these or what I'm doing really. So I'm going to take a flat brush and just dip it into the product. I'm just going to pat it down to start with. Oh, it really does have a weird jelly kind of texture, it's strange. Oh wow. Oh, it's really pretty though. So I'm going to take that all over my lid, pat it to it to set but I'm also going to use that to cut the crease as well. Oh that is so so pretty. Isn't that easy? No glitter primer required. It's opaque enough to to cut the crease as well. I thought these would be difficult to wear with, and not at all. I think we're going to put Dr. Finkelstein in the kind of gap between the matte and the jelly match. Oh, that looks quite cool, just for a pop of colour there, just on that outer corner. Just dipping back into Halloween Town just to blend just on this outer corner. I love how that's looking, that's really pretty. I feel like we need something on this inner corner here. I'm going to use that Dr. Finkelstein again. Just think that could work. So I'm just going to put a bit of that just on this front portion of the lower lash line. This looks taking a turn, I didn't expect it to go in. For my inner corner, I'm going to go in with zero, just for a pop of brightness there on the inner corner. Gosh, that's pretty pigmented. Okay, so that's the eyes to this point. Just going to hop off camera for a bit of a wing liner and to apply the lipstick. And I'll be back with you with the finished look and a few thoughts on the collection and the things I've used so far. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. I did a wing liner with the liners. Not a fan. I much prefer the brush tip. I'm quite proficient at wing liner, I think, but I really struggled with these. If you've got older eyes like mine, it kind of doesn't glide very well. So I've got a sort of a bit of a jagged sort of top line on that wing. It's not my favorite. But I've used the white one just underneath the black wing there just to try it out. And I think the white one for accents I probably will use. I don't think I'm probably going to use the black one. It's just when I've got the NYX Epic Ink, which is so much better in my opinion, I'll be using that. But it is good to try these things out. Um, my thoughts on the other things, though. The Jelly Much Shadow, wow, I love this. I want them in every colour now. I think they're... They have the sparkle and the kind of special pizzazz that the Super Shocks have got, but so much easier because you can create, as I say, a cut creasy kind of look with them. 
really really easily I think they'd be good for a smoky eye as well you don't need the glitter primer underneath yeah really really great product love these they need to do one of those vaults that they do with the super shock shadows but with the jelly mutties that would be amazing uh the palette i do like it i think the color story is interesting particularly for ColourPop. yes it could have been more nightmare before christmas the movie but if it is from the the ride i don't know much about that i don't know if the colors are depicting of that but maybe that's the inspiration that they took but either way if it wasn't a nightmare before christmas palette i would still have wanted it because i just love the combination of these grungy shades and then the brights as well this shade really surprised me this purple here dr finkelstein really love that combined with that jelly much shadow i thought that looks so pretty on the lid they are quite powdery they're more kick up -y than i remember color pop shadows being from other palettes that i have but but yeah really really enjoying it so far i can't wait to create something a little bit more colorful with it so yeah i need to find some time to do that but i think they just executed this so so well i love the packaging on it it's just a collector's piece if you know me at all you'll know how much of a collector of special editions and movie tie-ins things like that that i am and i just just love it i just think it's really well done the lipstick i love the Lux cream lipsticks from Colourpop this one's no exception really really enjoyed it I think it's a beautiful shade of red red's my favorite color for lipsticks so so yeah, it was always going to be a winner but yeah and I wouldn't normally pair a red lip with kind of a neutral purple leaning eye look like this but I really love how it's turned out so I had a lot of fun just playing with these products and just getting to know some different kind of formulas so if you want to see some more looks with this collection then do let me know i know we're out of halloween time but it's kind of nightmare before christmas so i could do something maybe a lot more christmasy with it so let me know if you want to see that but as i say i've got the tinkerbell collection as well so planning to film with that i've got everything in the bundle because i bought it when colourpop had 25 percent off the site so it was just too good a an opportunity to to pass that up i'd wanted it for a little while couldn't really justify it because i've been trying not to buy too much makeup but at that price i had to have it so it's absolutely stunning so probably the next video i film will be with that so there's lots of color pop content coming on my channel right now but if you've enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up for me and if you're new to my channel i'd love it if you would consider subscribing on your way out but that's all i've got for you for this one guys hope you're keeping safe and well and hopefully see you in the next one bye guys yeah.